Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to run Mac on your PC. Uh, it's going to be really easy and the only thing we're going to need is VMware Workstation and the uh, Mac OS X Virtual Machine Image. Now what VMware Workstation is, is pretty much a way to run a virtual machine uh, on your computer. What that is, is pretty much running an operating system within your current operating system in a little window or you can even full screen it to get the full experience. But it's pretty much running a different operating system on top of your current one and uh, you could really do this with any operating system but today I'm going to show you how to do it with a Mac OS X and if you want to get the virtual machine image uh, please do a quick Google search because I'm not going to provide the link for legal reasons so let's get right into this uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, I already have it open here so we're going to open up uh, vir our uh, virtual machine workstation here and this is what it should look something like this we're going to open a virtual machine and uh, right here, when you download the OS X um, VMware file, the file for the virtual machine, uh, it is a special file. I believe it's an ISO. But we go in here, and right here you can see it, uh, it has the icon for the VMware, and it's ready to go. So we're just going to hit open. It's going to load it up. I already have a saved. Uh, I was using it before, so it's pretty much saved my spot. Um, if you have plenty of memory to spare, you could go over here and if you double click it'll pop this up and you could choose how much memory you want to dedicate to the virtual machine I recommend going as high as possible but since I only have four gigs uh, available for my uh, laptop it's only letting me use one and it says over here memory sw uh, swapping may occur beyond the size and we don't want any errors or any problems so it's recommending two gigs but it's only allowing me one although I have four gigs available which is kinda weird I can't even use less memory. Um, but anyways, so over here, processor is using uh, it's using both cores, which is pretty good. Uh, it's using 100. It has allocated 150 gigabytes for it, and currently it's only using 8.4, and I have 44.8 uh, gigabytes, which is kind of interesting because I have 150 set for it. Anyways, so uh, it detects the CD drive. Uh, there's no floppy disk. Uh, it detects a network adapter, which is the Wi-Fi. Uh, detects that okay pretty much you can see what it's doing here so um, what works for me might uh, not work for you and what doesn't work for me might work for you so let's go ahead and boot this up I'm just gonna resume here and as you can see it's restoring the virtual machine state it does is since it's not optimized for this computer uh, it does lag here and there it is not the best performance but you do get the full environment of Mac OS X and it is fully functional for the most part. So here we go. See, as you can see, it detects my uh, microphone and it, it detects my webcam. But it's not going to work. <laughs> if you go here, removable devices, and right here, um, you could you'd connect them. But I've tried using webcam and it just doesn't work for whatever reason. Okay, so it booted up and as you can see, I have my username and all that good stuff and what is this remind me later okay so yeah uh, right now I'm in the virtual machine I'll make it full screen for you guys boom there it is the aspect ratio is uh, kind of funky because the video driver is incompatible with the Mac OS X but it works for the most part as you can see yeah it looks kind of crappy but there it is boom we're in and uh, let it load up for a quick second. I should get my toolbar on the bottom. There it is. My applications, so and so. But yeah, okay. Um, I'm currently on Wi-Fi, and uh, I'm not very hip with this Mac stuff, so I don't know how to show you that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. There's a notification bar. I think if I double swipe, there's a scrolling action. Uh, I really don't know how to use a Mac. <laughs> but here you go. Um, down here, I can hit Safari. That should load. Boom! There it is. So yeah, let's uh, let's try going to uh, Google. I'll oh, see. It wants me to sign in. If I go to Google, this is on Wi-Fi. It's not hardwired, so the Wi-Fi will work. Uh, sure, allow. There we go. It works just fine. And yes, I have Chrome installed for Mac, but let's not get into that. If I go up here, uh, about this Mac software update, blah, blah, blah. 
what is this your computer is restored because of a problem ignore uh, recycling or trash over here it's not recycling Apple doesn't recycle system preferences let's open that up so you got the little bouncing animation and as you can see it is not the fastest it is not the most perfect uh, running but we do have full control here um, I guess you could call this a hackintosh but if we hit the display you can see that stuff uh, I tried scaling it it just it won't let me get into a full screen for some reason the drivers just don't match up I suppose but here we go we got all this good stuff um, if I go over here to the app store the app store is uh, is available and you could buy stuff I already downloaded a couple programs from it as you can see I got the chrome and I got this text wrangler and so and so um, yeah it does take a quite a while because it's only got a gig of RAM or it thinks it has a gig of RAM and the processor is only dual core it's pretty slow it's not optimized you guys get the point well but, but here you go I mean for a, a free version quote unquote uh, it's it's really worth it it's kinda cool if you want to learn how to use a Mac to see if you like it uh, you don't get the full Mac experience but you do get the full experience of the environment uh, the trackpad and the mouse is really the what sells the max I suppose uh, I'm not sure what else to say about that but as you can see App Store here you could uh, navigate it you could download stuff uh, it works fine for the most part and I don't know this is it it works FaceTime 99 cents but there you go I hope this was helpful uh, if you want a Mac and you want to try it out before you buy it Here's a good way to do it. Um, like I said, to do this, you just need VMware and the uh, Mac OS X uh, virtual machine. And if I exit out of here, I could suspend it, which is pretty much sleep mode. It saves the state. And that is pretty much it. So, yeah, um, we're just going to exit out of here, minimize it, and back to uh, Windows 7. But, yeah, there you go. I hope this video was helpful and enjoy your Mac. Thanks for watching.